Okay, let's start. Do we have here? Just waiting on one. Yes. And one more review. Uh, this is just the documentation part. Yes. This came in a while back. Oh, that's now a review. Okay. I guess nobody really is interested in Fisker so much in this call. <laughs> um, <laughs> also no background. <laughs> so let's let's move on. I think there's proofers already signed. So. Um, You can basically change this to draft for now. <laughs> Get it out. Yeah, right. We said we're not going to do this for now. Um, unit tests, we have one course pipeline. Oh, yeah, one of the most is you said this up, but uh, you had some complaints. So. It's basically due yeah, to- Yeah, I asked the thing. Yeah, so it's due to the, the initial Docker that he's using, the container. It is about like Seago, is he using Seago or not, right? Like if he's not, if he doesn't need Seago, then he should just disable Seago and compile it that way. I mean, it's not a big problem, it's just, would be nice to understand if there's a dependency that uses Seago. Such a small thing. You can always change it. Um, yeah, I mean, but nobody will ever do it. Right? And if we disable it now, and we do introduce something that has C, uh, requires Seago, we will notice. I mean, we can wait, we can say, well, I mean, like once, I'm fine either way, right? But it's more like, I would like to know if it was intentional or not. Created, but we have here, yeah, that was me this morning. Okay. And now I know your last name, so I can update the documents. Oh. <laughs> sure, oh, oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> um, Um, what's this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was for the, the documentation was out of date for the native disk size for a very, very, very long time. It, it, it is supported. Ah, ah, that's nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, It's so funny at the beginning we decided to not support it because uh, there was some uh, rate limiting on AWS side for native disk size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it was probably hard to uh, 
Da ist der Raid Limit in six hours, I think. In the six hours, you can do a uh, discreet size. <laughs> yeah, if they hit it, then yeah. I, I think we even have the, the uh, when the rate limit is hit, it will do the, uh, it will fall back to the previous. Yeah, yeah, this no, is cool. It's a bit annoying after six hours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, they have such a. Yeah. yeah, this one was just weird. I looked into it and uh, it's supposed to be this. This check should was supposed to be to do it for the keys, but it's only doing it for the values. And the values, we don't care about if they have numbers, yes or no. They can start with numbers. Um, so yeah, someone needs to review this. It was someone had an issue. Um... Okay, but there's no linked issue. Oh, there is this one, right? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Would it make sense to add a test? No. It's not <laughs> I know that's always your answer. <laughs> this is not that. Yeah, well, then, so there is, all, there is already no test for this. There's no test? No. Oh. <laughs> This is an awesome <laughs> opportunity. It feels like an opportunity, right? <laughs> Do you feel like that as well, Ramon? Show me that bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? No, not... where am I? Not where you want to be. <laughs> oh. This is not, that doesn't make sense. Google doesn't, it doesn't want to go to. That's not how this is supposed to work. Google instant service. Google instant service. That's image service. Image. Oh. Reading, it's also hard. I know. In labels, yes. Yeah, no tests. <laughs> you don't trust me. I don't understand this. Where is this, this untrusting behavior coming from? I mean, I have never met any of you in person. Uh, that's not true. So you all are just internet people, right? So <laughs> you cannot trust internet people. I don't know. With with AI, you don't even. I don't even know if you all are real, right? <laughs> and no camera. camera no, no, yeah. Oh. yeah, also no camera. It could just be <laughs> an AI that's trained on remote sound, like from the previous <laughs> recordings. It would be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, there's there also no integration test for this stuff? Like for this, no, not really. So there is, uh, there are two. Uh, when the there is a set instance type, set VM instance metadata is where the function is called <laughs> for save labels. So we have one integration test that has something to do with labels. Yeah, but it doesn't go for the safe labels. Hmm? Nowhere is the, that actual why that safe labels is implemented. It's, it's tested nowhere, basically. Okay, so it's something that just changed. And you have the documentation that shows it was or not that it was changed it just shows what it's now right yeah there is no that it was i think it was always like this uh, they just why would they um, implement this want to be thorough 
I know why I found a commit where that in the commit message where they said because uh, Bosch when Bosch created some metadata tags, it had like colons into it, in it, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Google CPI of the Google API didn't like that, so that's why they remove it here. Um, but for the numbers, I don't know because it's really normal to have value values that are numbers and i also thought that this would be like for the keys but it's only for the values which is weird but it is actually it's just appending something right when it matches yeah, it's appending when it starts it, yes. but that will be a like yeah it will be the, the n is uh, appended but they want to uh, have yeah one. but it, but it will be a breaking change, as in like people that have um, labels that start with a number and have now an N prepended. Yeah, it's it's something that's requested from the SAP side, uh, where they where they specifically want that N not in there. Uh, yeah, I understand. I I have no other it's way. It's just like if you're if you're gonna change this, all the labels are gonna change for the people. Like so, it could also be that people have just uh, been okay with this. Like they um, and they have adopted their like reporting or adapted their reporting to cope with that. Yeah, it's it's the it's just weird because now between the tags with the. Uh, if you have like for multiple ISs, like for AWS, and they are already not consistent, but this makes it more inconsistent. Yeah. I I, I understand what you're saying. It's just there's a lot of people with yeah, it's interesting a it's, environments. It's a, it's a breaking change. This could be a breaking change. I, I could convert it, this back to, to SAP. It's no problem. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I don't like uh, introducing a breaking change like this um, because people do rely on these tags for like billing purposes, right? So this would be a difficult, I mean, sure, without the end, it's probably more correct, but it, yeah, it will break billing for some people. Can we make it somehow backward compatible? Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about that. Um, oh. I would not see why, how? Uh, having a configuration parameter will make it. <laughs> yeah, you need to be <laughs> opt in. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah. Uh, Uh, of course, we can do an extra. <laughs> we can make an opt in setting, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's a bit overkill, isn't it? Yeah, but yes. I mean, like that, it is overkill, but the alternative is not, not doing it at all, um, in my opinion. Yeah, I, th I think it's just a mistake that has been crept in there for, it's already in there for years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, but that yeah. doesn't make it. <laughs> it doesn't make it not a breaking change. <laughs> there's break. lots of the, there's lots of those mistakes in there <laughs> that that were made in the past. I don't care. We need to fix them. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to register. Maybe we need to build some code uh, where we uh, can uh, register who is using what. <laughs> Yeah, I'm even fine with it defaulting to this new behavior, right? Just we need to have an option to opt out, like keep the old behavior. Okay. The, other, the other approach could be to check whether there is already a label existing with N in front. If yes, then don't do anything. Um, but I don't know how expensive we could be such a check. Yeah, that sounds like expensive because you could talking about a lot of labels 
on many many um, yeah, many labels yeah. uh yeah i could see if we can fix it with an opt out uh, yeah fine i will check that Yeah, unfortunately, there are also backward incompatible mistakes. <laughs> yes. Um, um, yeah, I'll fix it first before assigning reviewers. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Check tomorrow. Um, yeah, this was my. Uh, The, the problem was that that fit thing was introduced again, so I needed to uh, revert this in the commit with stocks, but it's way more work for me to get all these things in again, <laughs> to cre create a new branch and to fix this. Uh, well, what's this change about? Like so these changes, so if you, you need to look at the commits because this is way too much. Uh, so I cherry picked commits from the 8.4 branch that were mm -hmm. not into the master branch. Mm -hmm. and they were, so the master and 8.4 branch began diverting like one and a half year ago, some more. Mm -hmm. um, and from that time, I select several commits uh, to add those. Okay. Uh, this is the and that's the first and the last commit. Uh, yeah, that's my mistake. Um, that just sucks. Yeah, this is the commit that we already merged, right? Yes, and in that commit was one thing that a fit was still in there that yeah. that I removed and forced pushed, and now it's in here. So I needed to revert that specific thing. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And these were already reviewed. So this was reviewed and this was reviewed. Yes, yeah, so only the prepared the Terraform one. files was not reviewed because that's what I created. And all the other this ones one. were, yeah. yeah. And all the other ones are, uh, this is basically all Terraforming uh, to be compatible with, uh, uh, with the newest Terraform. I see, so it's, some quotes, mostly quotes. Why did this go? The whole f I'm not sure. I think, oh, I think it was a double because if you put one thing up. Oh, it is there twice? Yeah, I think it was twice. And it now complains about double. Yeah, change in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, the requirement oh. providers are now different. You need, to, you need to set specific requirements. It's mostly getting rid of quotes. Yeah, this the schema changed quotes, 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 quotes. Okay. And I'm still not done with this, but after this is merged, then I want to uh, put up the CI. Mm -hmm. And after that, we can iterate uh, for the new things. Yeah, so I'm gonna. If there's no objections, I'm gonna merge this. We, oh, ugh, missing CLA. Yeah, that's for yeah. one of the. <laughs> this is for one of the commits, cherry pick, cherry pick commits. Mm -hmm. 
It's fine. It would be nice to have some CI going for this. Yeah. I will set it up in the next week. Okay. Well, that's something okay. American issues. That's the same thing as what we just talked about. But I think yes. Pretty so out. this is now under discussion, probably. Um, where did that go? Oh, here. Yes. Okay, last time we discussed things was the 16th. Oh, that one. Yeah, we discussed this one, that one. Going on to. Yeah, so. That. There was new activity here. Oh, just now. Hello. Yeah, there are a lot of progress on these tickets. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, uh, finally finds the issue which is related to the Bosch agent or stem cell. And uh, we, we also um, faced some issue on our. Um, landscapes because um, the issue is actually caused by Bosch agent restart. So after the restart of the Bosch agent, then some mounting operations mm -hmm. will fail on that VM. And currently there is a new release on the um, Jamie stem cell. Yeah, we, we upgrade. Oh. Um, also, I think it's also a good idea to check for the remount option and how we mount the read only uh, mm. in the, rem the, the agents for the Linux mounting. Uh, yeah. Because if you do remount, um, if you use the remount option for mount, then you don't have this problem. Yeah. Um, so this would like be a two. The two step basically the the new stem cell already has their fix in it that released yesterday um where what where so there's a new you... stem cell release now uh, jo joseph and uh some other people ah, we tracked the problem down to crony ah oh, crony again um. <laughs> Yes, this is so true. But it, it's surprising how many issues we have had with Crony. Do you, do you remember, Ramon, that that was also like Crony was a thing that caused all sorts of weird issues on Bionic? Yes, and, and it was specific to the System D stuff. System D and Crony yeah. are match made in hell. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's so horrible. You never have to think about it, <laughs> except for like when you get really weird stuff. So I would also suggest that we look or investigate that remount option for the agent, yeah, because it's it's not really invasive uh, for the agent. And it's a, and it's a built-in option from the mount command instead of we do the u mount and mount into steps. Is that already part of the discussion, or is that a separate going to be a separate thread? I, oh I yeah. I added it in, and then I asked for should we also set put the uh, integration test in it. Uh, I th think it's a good idea to also have an uh, integration test for like upgrading VM and this type in one go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what? Um... Yeah. So about that. So uh, we have also check the logs. Mm -hmm. So in our scenario, we see we have an upgrade of the stem cell from 1.83 to 8.9, uh, 1.93. And mm -hmm. we have a certificate rotation in the settings.json file of the Bosch agent. So which means um, 
there is a system update and also the changes of the settings.json file lead to the restart of the Porsche agent, then the problem occurs. So it could be that some of the commits in between the 1.83 and 1.93 yeah, lead but to this problem. So within these two things, because it's not only the commits that we do or the Agency. And also a lot, yeah. It's also kernel updates, uh, everything exactly. else. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yesterday I want to check the, what could be the commits. There I see a lot of dependency update. Yeah, that could also be the issue, be the course. But so there, this change has not been released yet, right? No, it is. It's released yesterday. It's released, it's, it's released uh, in version one dot nine five. Ah, okay. And you tested that and it works or? Yeah, we have tested it then it works. It works okay. now uh, because we have two problems. One problem is okay, occasionally occur when is, um, we can reproduce it. So yeah, we just uh, use, uh, we just upgrade system cell to 1.95 today and uh, the, uh, the permanent issue or the reproducible issue is resolved and uh, occasional issue doesn't occur again. So we assume that it's also resolved. Yeah. yeah, the intermittent issue you want to, but for that to, you want actually some more time probably to really mm. call yeah. it fixed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, maybe it makes sense to keep it open for another week and then you, all can like give an update if the intermission intermission intermittent issue has also been resolved, and then we can like, I mean, I, I, this issue is basically done. Then it's more we there could be further improvements with the integration test, right? Um, the test and the remount option, yeah. We we will see after. Yeah, let's let's see what yeah. happens. Yeah. But that could be like separate. The, in, the the remount thing could just be a PR and a discussion in there, and the yeah. integration test could also be just a PR against uh, the bats test. I don't know. Like I haven't checked if it's actually in there. Uh, that could also be a good thing to check. Couldn't find it. Uh, bats is already like insanely huge already. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one more test. I can remember we had something like that in the release pipeline of the director of uh, the upgrade test. Um, but so that, that's upgrading the Bosch director itself, right? Yeah. Yes. And the director itself didn't have any issues. It was undeployed. Uh, so it was on the deployment. Yeah, OK. Yeah. And stencil and. Uh, yeah. So basically, we also need to introduce like we can do yeah. it. In, we can do it in the same deployment, like uh, deploy this and then also uh, upgrade the VM type and mm -hmm. disk size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't have to add an extra test. I think we should just. And this also had to do with uh, the uh, yeah the restarting of the agent, right? So this is the short lived credentials. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That started to cause this. Okay. Nice work, I guess, right? Like, this was a pretty interesting issue that got. It, it could have, it could have taken months. <laughs> yeah, it took two weeks. That's pretty, actually pretty fast for like getting to a resolution of such a complex problem. Without having an understanding why. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know why it works. Yeah, that's that the best. This is, this is like, not, the first, it's not the first time, Bayan. <laughs> yes, but that, yeah. I mean, that's Joseph, right? He, like, if he finds a fix, he, he doesn't go. Like, he has been doing this for way too long. So he is not like that interested anymore. Why something works? If it works, it works. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. <laughs> so, and I mean, Crony is a, yeah, it's a good suspect. I know there was like a, a task once, like I logged, I think it was symbionic for how to get rid of crony, but we, we never got to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, this is just, I, I, I don't have this Azure. Close? I cannot test this. I...
it's because everyone I know who's using Azure uh, can use it with the latest stem cells on Bionic or other things, and they don't have any problem. So I think it's specifically to that task that he is executing. So it's not a deployment, but he's uh, he's doing create release or something. I think. Wait, this commit? He identified this commit as being a problem. I don't think so. This so is that's what he it. said. But this is only in Jemmy, not in. Because it's it's only in, in Jemmy. We introduced this cloud in its stuff in Jemmy. Mm. And that was since the beginning of Jemmy, I think. Since we really, before we released it or a month after we released it. But downgrade it to push agent and modify it to arm to the above commit. So without downgrading the agent, uh, undoing the above commit is not possible. So to verify that. Oh, you think because he downgraded, he cannot get it to work at all because uh, of this commit. Okay. I was thinking whether he needs to downgrade it all or just uh, undo the commit, uh, that commit and try it. But most probably <coughs> he needs also to downgrade it. But he's also using that, like if you scroll up, he is. He's not, it's not with a normal deployment. It's doing like with compilation export release. That's where, but when he gets it. Mm -hmm. Or, oh no, it's deployment to it wrong. Watch minus E, export E. He's using the export release thing. It's export release, yeah. Uh, I never do anything with export release. Uh, so. But I, I also don't have Azure. But this is interesting, right? So this could also be that the compilation instance is just not suitable. You mean the type of the compilation instance? Right? Yeah, as in like it's running out of resources, like it's running, like uh, the compilation is like. Yeah, but the compilation VMs are mostly huge. Yeah, sure, but I don't know what this environment is. I mean, like, yeah, they are true. doing an export release. Is it only happening during that compilation? Is that something we can test within SAP to just do an export release and see if we can get... Yeah, but I mean, I, don't know. I think it's really a specific... We don't know what they are compiling, right? I and this one was successful. He also blanked this out one its packages, so I don't know if it's actual porn or if it's just XXXX. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know at this point. <laughs> but it was, it doesn't get any agent ID. That was the whole, uh, the whole problem, right? But yeah, out of disk space or, or out of memory could also cause like weird. At some point, he mentioned something that the disk was to, uh, they required large uh, root file. Mm -hmm. What's that name? Yes. Uh, if you walk into one. And, uh... Wasn't that a different one where there's like the. Mm, it was this one, I think. Here, somewhere, how I do my right here by, by default root disk. Yes, by default. default root root root. Root. Yeah, makes makes sense because we already bumped up the root disk for AWS, I think. But I think we bumped it to three gigabytes. If 
because mm -hmm. Jemmy is a whole lot bigger, but uh, he also has it with Bionic and it changed from one point to another. Oh. And he says it's coming from the from the new agent. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I think that's it. Any other business? I started a thing. So I created some automation I'm still working on to see all the big pull requests that came in recently. So things that are, are like an attempt at making a bit of a roadmap. It's not so much forward looking, but at least you can see say what happened in the last few months, like what were bigger things that were done across <clears throat> all of Cloud Foundry. And this, uh, uh, this is for all Cloud Foundry, that was... Yes, this is not just Bosch. Uh -huh. So the things that, and here you can see it by repo, so the things that are Bosch related are, for example, short-lived NETS credentials, Postgres 15, a Ruby bump, mm -hmm. and update NETS to a supported version, right? I think that is actually a fair summary of the things that were happened on the director side. Yeah. So. So it's based on like the time, the, the, the number of files changed. So it needs to have at least uh, 10 files that were changed and it needs to be reviewed for a longer period of time. Because I found that like things that change a lot of files, but are like say automated stuff, like uh, dependency bumps or stuff, right? Those typically get merged pretty quickly. So like the more, more complex features typically sit in review for at least more than a week and they have more than 10 files that changed, so. Well, you can ask chat GPT, is it an important PR? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> also that, yeah, or I can point it to this and say, like, make a proper roadmap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Predict what new features we're gonna build based on this data. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe also you can filter on bumper. Bumper could be also something. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still having trouble with the uh, things that are currently open. Maybe I shouldn't put these things on because for those I cannot see how long they're gonna take. So, yeah. yeah, still need yeah. some work. But uh, I, the idea is great. Yeah, I think it's. Uh can provide value. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a 
it, it shows a bit of like the uh, the activity that's still going on right like in the community at large yeah also there was some documents that said that we needed something like this in, in vmware so i had to do it so it's like yeah okay they didn't say it needed to be get the project but i didn't want to do something without automation so <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna write a document by hand um does, so, yeah does felix or john has any other things as they are, are they have any no uh, not. okay Okay. See you all later. See ya. See you. Yeah. See ya. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.